So just got done watching the Xbox Live 20th anniversary uh, thingy live stream, and it was a uh, it was okay. You know, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. It was just sort of reminisce on what they've done and all that for the most part. They did announce like four major things. They had some cool clips where they showed like people that had met on Xbox uh, Live playing games like Halo, I think it was. No, it was Gears of War that they met on. And then they met in real life. <laughs> They showed some people with disabilities using their uh, special controller for disabilities. And they talked about on December 13th, there's going to be six part documentary series on the entire 20 years of developing for Xbox. So everything from back in 2001 up to current day. So I'm kind of interested in seeing that, seeing I like video game stuff. If you hear like weird stuff in the background, by the way, we have a hell of a rainstorm right now and it's just like heavy winds blowing blast and rain up against the building right now so that's why that's happening so this documentary is supposed to go through the last 20 years and i'm really i'm really interested to see that because i'm somebody that the xbox does hold some special weight with me um i was in the army when the xbox came out in 2001 actually i was not quite in yet i was in the army 2002 then i got an xbox and Halo was a big deal, you know, Halo was a really big deal, especially playing split screen with your friends, getting four friends together and playing on one s screen, getting that cardboard divider out so nobody could screen cheat and stuff, that was, that was interesting. Um, and then eventually I got deployed to Iraq, and when I got deployed to Iraq, um, I took my Xbox and like a little screen with me and like a, you know, like one of those 12 volt like to AC inverters that they, you can hook up to like a truck or something. I hooked it up to my Humvee that I was assigned, and we would just open the back tailgate and just start playing like games like Dead Alive 3, Halo, stuff like that. And eventually that snowballed into this thing where other people that were on convoys going to Baghdad ended up getting Xboxes themselves and a bunch of like small 13 inch screen like old crt screens and stuff like that and we even got like a couple of network switches and we started having like 12 and eventually like 16 player halo in our unit and it got to this thing what we did every sunday night in the mess hall and even our unit chaplain got involved which was very weird because every time you got killed it would say by him it would say you got killed by chappy then they announced that they're adding more games to backwards compatibility they're adding more games with fps boost more all the games that they're adding today are supposed to have auto hdr capability so they're adding the entire fear trilogy they're adding the entire max Payne trilogy it's too bad that they didn't get that gta trilogy it was on the original xbox on there before this game came out god that gta trilogy is so disappointing isn't it i, I was looking forward to it. i was gonna get it and it was just uh, what is up with like releasing stuff before it's done or ready it's just like you know you're just breaking my heart game developers well it's not the game developers fault it's always a money thing so it's always the suits let's just fire the suits they don't know what the hell they're doing take them out of the decision making process and give it to developers people they know when their shit's done all right and then this is the strange one to me that was like a real quick one-off they announced a halo series which we've known that they've been trying to do a halo series for a while like steven spielberg was attached to this like and this has been going on for like 10 years and they've never been able to get off the ground so supposedly it finally launches next year and oddly enough it's on paramount plus so are, is game pass going to give us subscriptions to paramount plus eventually did that happen already i don't actually know i'm like i'm just kind of curious as to why they're attaching paramount plus to this it's just it's it's very weird and my question is does that mean that there's certain people that are x that own the xbox that have game pass not getting this are they adding this to game pass as well it seems to me if you have a game pass service a subscription service every month and you're making a show you should probably add access to that show somehow so if paramount plus is a part of game pass and that was announced at some point and i missed it i apologize i don't know um but Hopefully the show's good. You know, they didn't really show much. It was just a quick, you know, trailer of him putting stuff on and scars, so. On behalf of the entire Halo team, it's my honor and privilege to announce that your Spartan journey begins today. Right now you can download and start playing season one of Halo Infinite's free to play multiplayer beta on Xbox One, Series S, X, and PC. This is the kickoff of our season and you'll have access to all the maps, core modes, academy features, 
and the full battle pass to unlock, and your progression will carry over when we officially release the game on December 8th. Anyways, that was pretty much it. It was just a quick, quick flash in the pan. It was kind of neat to see the look back, and I'm really actually very excited for the documentaries. I would love to actually watch those. Anyways, did you notice a new addition in the background? We'll get to that in a little bit. Anyways, if you guys like this video, thumbs up. Thumb well, you can't dislike now because, you know, thanks. <laughs> How do you guys feel about the dislikes going away? I mean, I just don't care. I just want to go on the internet and just make videos about video games and, and get this thing that I have, this love of video games, out to the internet. I don't really care about all that stuff. Like, I know I have to at a certain point, but it's just, it's frustrating. Anyways, friends, you have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye.